Hi, this is Anthony with RevZilla TV, and in this video we're going to walk through the basics of buying a motorcycle helmet. Really this video should be your guide to how to choose, where to start, what you need to invest, and really how to tailor the fit of your helmet and the application into what model or what brand really will suit you best. We have a lot of customers that call and say, hey, I'm, I'm new to riding, I'm just getting into the sport. What are the things that I should look for when choosing my motorcycle helmet? This is going to be that video that hopefully will connect the dots and allow you to make a great informed decision outside of always being able to just give us a ring and have us walk you through it anyway. So basically what you see in front of me here is a mix of what I would consider our staple everyday riding helmets. Some are going to be more aggressive than others, some have some different features. These are all helmets that are going to be from the $80 range starting with these sparks that are very basic but do a great job all the way up to around, I would say around $200 where you're going to top off with the Vortex, with the, with the Icon and then potentially with the Scorpion. So I'm just going to move left to right, I'm going to walk through these helmets and as I do I'm going to illustrate what an everyday helmet should do. So you have your spark, medium oval head shape, it's going to be very basic, ventilation is decent, it's reasonably quiet, five year warranty, um, and also a crash replacement policy. Sparks comes in, in, in solids, they come in graphics, just a great either first helmet for somebody or a passenger helmet. Like I said, entry level every day, and this removable washable liner, the whole nine. Then you move to HJC. HJC as a brand as a whole plays in the entry level to kind of middle of the range. Helmets for HJC are going to range from that $100 to maybe $250 at the top end point. HJC makes a modular, they make some helmets with some different features. The key with HJC, they make tons of helmets, but they're all slightly round. So whereas most people have a slightly ergonomic head shape, it's going to be what I would consider a medium oval is the most common. HJC is slightly rounder than that. So when you're choosing a helmet, think about if so you were standing on the ladder looking at your head from the top down, if you're more of a round shape, symmetrical, HJC is a great fit for you. If you're more intermediate, something like a Sparks, a Bell, a Scorpion, or an Icon are going to work better for you. So moving on from HJC, you're going to have the Scorpion. This is the Scorpion XO750. It's going to be right around that $200 mark. Scorpion makes tons of, they have an XO400, which is entry level below this, that's round. This is an intermediate oval, removable washable liner, quick release shield, anti-fog shield, quick wick liner inside that's completely washable. Notice the ventilation configuration. It's much more of an aggressive shape meant to be ridden in a tuck position. So this I would consider is this is the top end of the entry level helmet or everyday riding helmet. Um, Scorpion makes a handful of helmets. They've been around for a long time. They do a great job. A lot of bang for the buck in Scorpion and basically all their helmet shapes are an intermediate oval except for the XO400 which is going to be more of a round shape like an HJC. Moving down, new for this year is the Snell, this is the only Snell 2010 certified helmet on this table. Everything else is either ECE or DOT. Snell 2010 certified Bell Vortex helmet, intermediate oval head shape. It's going to be a baby version of the Bell Star which is a super premium race helmet. Quick release shield mechanism, anti-fog shield, beautiful guts on this guy. It's very comfortable. These guys start at 169. Just really nice helmets, nice vent configuration. They come in graphics, they come in solids, they even come in a Roland Sands design. Ton of helmet for the buck. This is probably one of my favorite helmets that's sitting on this table. Remember, intermediate oval head shape, one of the nicer, more polished fit and finish helmets on the table. The ventilation configuration works really well. As you spend more money on a helmet, it's gonna keep you cooler, drier, be more ergonomic, and, and keep you riding longer and more comfortable longer. Moving down the road, Icon makes two helmets. This is their everyday riding helmet, starting at 169. This is called the Icon Alliance. This is, I believe, the Speed Free graphic. Icon makes tons of graphics. They make matte black. They make rubberized black. Lots of ventilation on this guy. Um, Hydro dry lining, completely removable, washable. Reasonably stiff for for the price range. This guy's going to go head to head with this Bell. These are my two favorite on the table. The difference, the notable difference, aside from the, the vent scheme and some of the Icon options, Icon's a more aggressive looking helmet. It also is a long, narrow shape. So you have your round shape, you have your intermediate oval, and then with this Icon, it's going to be very long front to back. Icons are actually a little bit too long front to back. My head's more of a bell head, more of a sparks head, more of a scorpion head. Um, and when we get along, it's more of a showy or eye head for that intermediate oval. This guy's a long oval. Both icons are long oval head shapes. The last one we have on our list is right around that $100 mark. This is the other guy kind of bookending this lineup. This is the G-Max. A lot of bang for the buck. Very basic. It's DOT. The, the guts are, are reasonable. Lots of ventilation. Lots of features on this one. But fit and finish, what you're going to notice is when you really pull these guys apart, if you have them all sitting in your, in your living room, you pull all the liners out and you started looking at how they're glued together, how the pieces fit together, the tolerances and how efficient things are, what you're going to notice is that as you go up in the price range, you're getting a better fit and finish helmet. You know, it's more ergonomic, it's going to fit tighter, it's going to be quieter. You're investing more in a helmet that will do more for you over the longer term. From a protection standpoint, DOT is DOT. 
Snell is Snell. And I said earlier, I believe I said it was a European standard. It's actually an American standard started in 1957. That's a very much improved standard um, when a helmet meets it or exceeds it. But you're going to notice that you know there, there's only so much in this range that they can put on a helmet to really before they start inflating the cost. But there are some winners in this lineup. That being said, when you're choosing a helmet, I've run through a lot of different brands, a lot of different models. Keep in mind fit. Call us if you have any questions. There's a lot more to even talk about this. I tried to keep this high level even though I went deep on a handful of these different brands. See us at RevZilla.com via email. 877-792-9455 via phone. We are the Gear Guys Gear Guide. We are experts at what we do. We take a geek's approach to helmets. We love technology and we love the safety and technical factor of everything that goes into the sport of motorcycle riding. You can call us, talk to anyone on our team. They're all very knowledgeable in all of this product. We hope that this message or this video painted a big picture of what you should be thinking about as you get closer to choosing or buying a helmet. There's a lot that goes into this. It's not a simple purchase. Um, thanks for watching today. We'll see you next time on RevZilla TV. And remember, we offer free shipping, we offer free first exchange, and we give you Teamzilla cash back on up to 5% on everything over 100 bucks on our site. Uh, if we've done a good job of filling in the blanks for you today, give us a shot to earn your business. Check us out at RevZilla.com. We'll see you next time.